Hello and welcome to Point of View. China today added another chapter to its ambitious space station mission. It successfully launched a Tianzhou 4 cargo spacecraft from the coastal Wangcheng Center on the southern island of Hainan. Tianzhou 4 was launched atop a Long March 7 carrier rocket carrying the third resupply mission to the Tiangong space station. It was the fourth launch of the Terminus and enough propellant for Tian her core module to maintain its orbital altitude. Docking with the Chinese space station is expected about 6.5 hours later. The Tianzhou, which means heavenly boat, is an automated cargo spacecraft that functions as the main resupply vehicle for the Tiangong space station. The first Tianzhou spacecraft, Tianzhou-1, the three-stage medium lift launch vehicle capable of placing a 13,500 kg payload into low Earth orbit or a 7,000 kg payload into geostationary transfer orbit. The standard version of the Long March 7 can be upgraded by adding more boosters, allowing it to be capable of reaching higher orbits or executing multiple orbital deployments. The center core of the Long March 7 can be supported as a rich stage combustion YF-100 engine. At sea level, each booster provides 1,200 kN of thrust. This increases to 1,340 kN of thrust in a vacuum. The center core of the rocket is 3.35 meters in diameter and has two YF-100 engines. Like the boosters, this stage uses refined kerosene and liquid oxygen. At sea level, this stage produces 2,400 kN of thrust, increasing to 2,680 kN in a vacuum. Like the first stage, the second stage is also 3.35 meters in diameter and uses refined kerosene and liquid oxygen. This stage is powered by four oxidizer-rich stage combustion YF-115 engines, two of which are fixed and two of which can gimbal. The second stage offers 706 kN of thrust in a vacuum. The Long March 7 does not have a third stage in the basic configuration stage powered by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. The stage uses two YF-75 engines which produces 165 kN of thrust. Here's wishing the mission success and smooth docking with Tianhe. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.